Good morning YouTube. So with today's video, well we're going to kick it off with an announcement video that I wish I really did not have to do. So uh, I'm going to try and just cut right through it. The video that you're going to see, I ended up meeting up with this guy not too long ago. And the quality unfortunately is not there. There's a lot more static than normal because of the microphone that I was using. I was not using the lapel mic. I can't really use that when I'm filming with somebody. So when I meet up with Rush, I have to use a different one. which. For some reason, as of late, I've been having more issues with more static. I ended up showing my guest the quality. He's like, you know what? Don't worry about it. Just put it out there because he had a lot of fun filming these as he's never done them before and he works in the entertainment industry. So he's a hip hop artist and just me meeting this guy, it meant a lot. So uh, please, I hopefully that you guys can just get through uh, the quality, the audio. Uh, again, I wish was there. Uh, just the quality was better, but I had a lot of fun and I can't replicate the same like uh, excitement and energy that I had. It was just showing. So again, guys, I apologize, but hopefully that you do like the video. Regardless, let's just get into it. What's going on guys? So today's video, this one is, oh, I'm super stoked because I am working with a legend from the Toronto hip hop community. So this guy has worked with some serious legends in the business. So I'm gonna, like, if you just wanna skip it, there's a timestamp in the description below. So, cause there's some guys that just, or like, just wanna get right into this. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do the, the Drink Champs Uncle Nori introduction. Cause this man deserves <laughs> his flowers. So this man has worked with some serious legends in the business. Styles P from the Locks who I met back in 2018 thanks to Freddie Rivera, Mr. Freddie Fred. This guy has worked with Raekwon, chef from Wu-Tang Clan, a group that's where you just want to smack the shit out of your mama. This group causes a ruckus. No, it's not MOP, but the Onyx. He's also worked with the late, great Mac Miller, but he's worked with some serious Canadian icons. He's worked with Mr. T.O. himself, Bacardi Cardi, Cardinal Official, the battle rap legend himself, oh. Bishop Brigante. Oh yeah, my boy Bishop. Bishop, yeah, we're yeah, gonna have yeah. to do a fragrance battle. Bishop gotta come and pull up for one of these, yo. He definitely gotta pull up. The godfather of Canadian hip hop, Maestro Fresh West, and the like. This guy is probably the biggest guy in hip hop. Champagne Pappy, Drake himself. <laughs> so this is Mr. JD Era. What so up, what up, what up, appreciate it. What so. Up. Uh, this is a huge treat for me, but this is one of my yeah. like a big, one of my most. We call them scented memories. This is a huge scented me memories. We call I this like is that. a huge <laughs> memory for me. This is a, one of my most meaningful videos. Yeah, love, so love. thanks for having me, brother. So we're actually going to be doing well. We're actually going to be doing Jaguar versus Ferrari when it comes to a smell and rate. These will just be first impressions. I know it's all about the dry down, but we don't really have the time or the space for it. So I ended up getting five Ferraris and five Jags. Just a little side note, there is no Bright Neroli or Noble Fig. I don't have those with me as they're actually at a friend's house. But let's just get it started. I wanted to have some freshies, but also some darker fragrances, such as this dark fragrance here. So this is gonna be Ferrari Amber Essence. So the point of this is just to see which so one. Walk me through this because you see, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fragrance rookie. Okay. Not necessarily well, well, because that, he has a bond number nine. I, I got a bond number nine and I am, you know, everywhere I go I usually smell like cushion cologne, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I have certain fragrances that follow me, you know what I mean? But, okay. you know, I, I, how, how, do you, how do you choose, like, how do you choose a fire cologne, man? Like, what's, like, what's the one, thing, one like, for me, my guideline has always been a, a female guideline, right? So, like, if okay, I walk so, in a room and a girl's so, like, you smell good? Uh, I know okay. that. So, I know you're, that's so a you're about like what, depending on what the ladies say, determines what I spray. Okay. That's, so how, that's, I, that's how I operate. So, right? Rob, so Coach Rob from San Diego, he's not really doing reviews anymore. But that's, that's a lie. That's, that's a tagline. That's his model. Fair enough. So, Fair enough. yeah, so it really depends. Like for me, it, I like my freshies. This is a darker one. Okay. So, and we're going to pair it off against a darker one, which is going to be Jaguar Imperial for men. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna see is like say Jag goes on, we're gonna we're gonna go down the list. Okay. So we're only gonna pair each off, Jag versus uh, Ferrari, and then towards the end, let's say there's only let's say Ferrari 
there's two Furries left. Yeah. Jag gets knocked out. We're going to see which one is the which ultimate. Which one is the ultimate? Yeah. Okay, fair okay. enough. Okay, so this is Jag. Okay, and the first one was Ferrari. Ferrari Amber Essence. So which one do you prefer out of the two? I go Ferrari. Ferrari? Yeah. Why is that? Um, it's a little bit of like a sweeter okay. tone to it. This one I feel like I feel like a skunk a little bit. Okay, this this one's a little bit more mature. Yeah, we'll call it mature skunk. To, mature. to put it to put it nicely, <laughs> that's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah, okay. I like this one. This one's fire. I like All right, this one. so we'll we'll keep that right there. Okay. Next one, let's go with uh, some freshies. It's gonna be Ferrari Radiant Bergamot. Which just a uh, spoiler alert. This is a gift for him. Not this one, but he has an ooh, unboxed ooh, one hey, in hey, the bag. Hey, okay. Hey. So that's Ferrari Radiant Bergamot. And I hope I really like this one then. <laughs> I hope so too. This one better win. <laughs> so then there's gonna we're gonna pair it off against Jaguar Pace. Okay. Okay. So Jaguar Pace, or do you prefer the Ferrari? Doesn't really matter. We're going by your nose. If you think that this is sh shit, it's quite okay. No, to me this one, this one's got a like fresh, a, like fresh, like minty almost. Okay tone to it. I go the Ferrari one again. Uh oh. Alright, so let's go with something, uh, let's go with Jaguar. Something uh, different. Classic Amber. So guys, if I feel like uh, if you if I come across as a little bit more like not myself, well, there's a reason, okay? So, I'm trying not to... Uh, <laughs> my guy, he's in my home base. Right? I'm trying not to go like full-blown fangirl. Because <laughs> I've been a fan of JD's for years. Oh, this one's nice. So, okay, that's classic Amber and we're let's go with uh, something that's similar. Mm. Oh, kind of. All right, so vetiver essence. And you just walk around just smelling like like a Greek god all day long, man. Just uh, all, these, all these flavors, bro. Not towards the end of the day, I know, right, honey? <laughs> My feet smell like Cheetos. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> that, that cologne can do about that. No, huh? no, no. So which one do you prefer? So Jag is in that. So you're smelling the Jag. Yeah, I go Jag on this one. You want Jag? Yeah, I go Jag on this okay, one. Okay then. So right now Ferrari's beating it two to one. So let's go with uh, Ferrari in. I got another cologne question. What's that? Okay. In applying your cologne, mm -hmm. do you have a a technique that is is like a standard? Like is it like a spray, a spray? A spray, a spray. Like, is it like do you OD? Do you, I, you like do you keep it to a spray minimum? Is there a spray count that you have? I, well, I use uh, the, the wife is probably the better person to ask. Uh, okay, that, I, I, find, that I find that women tend to OD with the spray. Like, I feel like okay. they okay. they go crazy. We, I'm a bit, I'm part of the sissy spray squad. Okay, it, so you're so shy. You're a shy spray. Depending on what it is, so it's like if we went with this one here, so okay. the Ferrari Raiden Bergamot, I probably do like. Six to eight sprays. Okay. But some of the other fragrances, so we have Mancera after this, but this video is gonna go first. Uh, that one would be like two to three. Okay, because that's a more potent. Yes. It's a more potent. These are all eau de, uh, like eau de toilette EDTs, except for this one here, which is gonna be Ferrari, uh, Ferrari, Ferrari Leather Essence. Okay, is that what we're getting into right now? Yes. All right, let's get into this Ferrari Leather Essence. So, all right, so. Ferrari, leather essence. Okay. Uh, against something, it's not close, but Jaguar Classic Red. Smell wise, I tried to stay as close as I could, but so I I have like three other Jags that I haven't even opened yet. They just came this week. So Jag in the right, Ferrari in the left. Which one do you prefer? Now this Ferrari smell is like. This is not an everyday smell. Okay. There's something I really like about it though. What, the Ferrari or mm -hmm. the, okay. And the Ferrari one. I like this Jag smell, but I feel like you, you paired it with something that is like so unique in this in this Ferrari one. Okay. Hold on. Give me another half a second. So he's, he's smelling this one now. I'm back on Jaguar again, right? Yeah. Kind of Jag. For an everyday Jaguar, for if I want to like step out and like, okay, you know, maybe like pull a new a new nose than the Ferrari one. So okay. if I gotta choose, which one do you? It's just a better fragrance to your nose. Oh damn! 
Damn, you got me stumped on this one. All right, I'm going. I'm going Jag on this one. Okay, so I'm going Jag on this one. So it's a tie right now. It's a two-two. I'm going Jag on. That one. All right. So but that Ferrari smell, dude. That's a that's a good smell, man. That's a good. So smell. So that's actually one of my that's one of my favorites from Ferrari. Itself. Yeah, that's a really good smell. So we got uh, two fragrances left, one each from each brand. So we're, this is going to be Ferrari Red Power Ice Three. So these are all bottles, guys. I wanted to make sure that for this very video, it was all bottles. So Red Power Ice Three versus Jaguar Ultimate uh, Ultimate Power for men. Yeah, that smells good too. So a lot of these are all easy to wear, mass appealing. Mm -hmm. The Manceros might be a little bit different. So Jag in the right, Ferrari in the left. I want to go Jag, but I want to bring back the other Ferrari after this one. I like the other Ferrari better than this Ferrari. Okay. But yeah, I go Jag on this one. Out of the two, uh, I go Jag. Okay, so Jaguar beats Ferrari, so three to two. So now we're actually going to go down to the battle to see which one is the ultimate fragrance. I just want to make a mental note here, honorable mention to that Ferrari, the leather joint. I could probably get you a bottle. That's an honorable mention to me. Okay. There's something special about There's something special about that one. Okay. I don't know why I like it. There's something special in it's there. It's a okay, harder okay. to come by fragrance, but I can see if I can no, look no, it no, up. No, no, no. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. I'll, I'll gift it, it if yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. I don't less. want to gift you a used bottle. Yeah, <laughs> say less, say less, say less. No, all right, no, so let's go back to Jaguar. So Jaguar Classic Amber. Okay. And let's go with something. All right, so Jaguar Amber Essence. So which one do you prefer? We're trimming the fat now. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> I go this one, the first one. Uh, which is uh, Jaguar Classic Amber? Classic Amber. Yeah, that's the Amber. Yeah, okay, so, amber. so Ferrari gets knocked out. So let's go, uh, yes. So Classic Red and against Radiant Bergamot. So Radiant Bergamot is in the left. Hmm. On a personal level, this one. So classic red. Okay. Dun, dun, so it looks dun. like Jaguar is actually the winner of the battle, but let's see which Jaguar you prefer. Oh, crazy. Are we down to all Jaguars left? Yeah, we are. So Look let's just see which Jaguar you prefer the most, though. So Jaguar Amber. You got the uh, the ultimate power. Okay. And then you got the classic red. So that one there is the ultimate power. I'm trying not to mix and match it, but I know the smell is pretty good, so. Okay. And then. That's the classic red. Does, do you just want to jump to a winner or does one beat another one? You can just jump to a winner right now if you choose to. I think we can go to a winner. Okay, so it's gonna be a Jag fragrance. You smelling that classic red? I'm thinking that one. It's feeling like a classic red. Well, home. So that's the classic amber you're smelling. Yep, classic amber because this is the ultimate power. So I'm guessing that the ultimate power you don't really care for. No, it's between these two. Okay. The red and the amber. Can only be a winner. Only one out okay, of time. Let me just cleanse the, the palette. Need yeah. the palette. Okay. And the winner by Eras Nose. I call the Amber. I think Amber wins. Why is that? I don't know. I just I could I I see myself using this as a more as an everyday between this and the red. This is a more versatile fragrance. Yeah, it's, I like it's it's dressing like this to a suit and tie mm -hmm. to 
to your red carpet events that you tend to go? This is clean, man. This is clean. This one's clean. I don't know about clean, but it definitely has like a spicy, ambery resin feel. I think feel. rapper word. It's rapper clean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> which, is, which is still dirty. <laughs> All right. So Amber, classic Amber wins the battle. So JD, thank you so so very much, man. Thank it means you, brother. A lot. Thank you, man. So guys, what I'm gonna do is, if you want to check out JD's uh, his his catalog and social media, they will all be down in the description below. Please make sure to check him out. I've been a fan for this guy for a very long time, and this this video meant a lot. So Yo, trust love, me. love, love, love. Thank you for having me. Hey, thank you for doing the very video. So any reviews that I've done from the ones mentioned, they will be in the description below. And if you want to check out some other car brand videos, whether they're smelling rates or videos. To check out both uh, all four corners guys before we go make sure to give us one of these as we really would appreciate it guys we thank you for your time take care and we'll see you later thanks for watching everyone peace